last week I took tube to get home, and as I got downstairs on the platform level, I noticed a fine-looking female human. <laughs> she had a short skirt, passionate eyes, really nice. And then I noticed a guy checking her out. Pluck the duck, I mean, get your own unobtainable fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, we'll finish on staring contest afterwards. <laughs> uh, then the train arrived and I was going for a seat right next to my girl so I could examine her properly. <laughs> but there was, there was also an old lady going for the same seat. <laughs> no way I could let her take my seat. Imagine, imagine how hard it would be for her to get up afterwards because I'm heavier than I know. <laughs> uh, because I have uh, more muscle than an average panda, <laughs> I think. Uh, so, so I raced for the sea and I made it before the old lady. <laughs> One to me, none to the lady. <laughs> so I sat down on the floor as in my excitement. I didn't notice this was one of those fold-up seats. <laughs> Inconvenient for me, you betcha. Uh, it, it means, yes, I, I just learned that. <laughs> So I, uh, I got up and sat down properly. I was really excited, but listen up, single guys. Uh, any single guys in the house? Oh, there are some. Listen up. I would not look at her as I didn't want to appear too desperate. Even if you are, don't show it. <laughs> Girls are not attracted to that. They, they want to be wanted but not freaked out. <laughs> so, I decided I'm gonna get her attention by doing some of my really cool dance moves. <laughs> because I heard that if you are a great dancer, it means that you are great in bed. So, I put on funky music on my iPod and I was really going for it. <laughs> Uh, this might be a better angle for you. <laughs> and now, I was ready to look at her and receive the appreciation. <laughs> she smiled at me. It's working. Oh, uh, then for a moment I thought, do I actually deserve this? Peace out! I told my conscience, of course I do. And then she pulled down her skirt, like telling me that she's saving herself only for me. <laughs> so I leaned closer, and she leaned away as inviting me to lean even closer. And then, then you know the way she looked at the watch, suggesting that we better not waste any more time? <laughs> I could, not, I could not argue with that. So, so at the next stop, we got up, and she was racing up the escalator about three steps at a time. She liked to play. I love games. So, so I switched the red button to reverse the escalator. And enjoy the show. But one minute later, she realized that she's not getting anywhere. It took her a whole minute. Now I also like her IQ. <laughs> or should I say, I do, if we were in front of a pastor. <laughs> but, then, but then, unfortunately, eventually, she did get away. Didn't my dance moves work? So I had a plan B. I decided to write a love song for her and we'll sing it to her tomorrow at Golders Green Station at 5.07 p.m. <laughs> um, would you like taster? I mean, not taste her, that, that's okay. Uh, 
preview of my song. Uh, it's a good thing I had my beatbox with me. <laughs> Let me just set it up. Let's see. Yeah. I think we got it. Mm, come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Mm, mm. <laughs> Ooh, what a beautiful girl you are! If I had a car, we could play in my car! You're so nice, you make me go crazy! If you were a flower, you'd be either rose or daisy! <laughs> and this is the part for chords, which I'm still working on. <laughs> then it goes on. Mm. Uh, yeah. Mm. Mm. First time I saw you on the tube, I saw that I was dreaming and even if it was cold outside, you looked like you were steaming. <laughs> I could not stop staring, could not move my head. All that I could think was you and me in bed. I took a chance and said it out loud. My mom probably wouldn't be proud. Because of that I got restraining order. Police didn't care, I had just crossed the border. <laughs> Thank you very much.